Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph and they're having trouble uh, doing this outline or uh, on this cup type deal, not particularly this cup or even this font, they said. But it, this will work for any font. I've just already done it. I have a, and this particular one would work on like uh, that you're going to print, but this would also work for laser engravers with the exception that I'm going to fill in with white on the inside, like the, the uh, part of it. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this same word and I'm going to left click and right click. And at that time, you can see that it needs to be welded because there's some parts up here. So we're going to click on it all. We're going to go to object. We're going to break it apart and then we're going to select it all again. We're going to go up to object and convert it to a curve. And as soon as we do that, the welding tool bar comes up because if we back up, you can see it's a font. So once, watch what happens when I convert it to a curve, the welding icons will come up and then just weld it. And that's welded all your letters together. And you could have them touching or not touching, but that's not really the process. And then go to effects and contour. And on this particular case, we're gonna contour the outside uh, with rounded corners and a, half, a 0 0.05 of an inch. And that looks really good. So we don't have to uh, do anything with breaking the contour apart because we're not going to really use the contour. I'm going to create a yellow box and I'm going to fill the box in with yellow just so we can see it happening. I'm going to go to group and order and put it to the back of the page. And then that way, when I bring in my text and I start smart filling it, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So we're going to take the smart fill tool, set on white, and I'm going to take all the interior parts and fill them with white. And even that part. And you could even go as far as um, go ahead and do these parts right here. I contoured it. I made the thing a little bit bigger so that my original one didn't even have those. <clears throat> but then take your smart fill tool and put it on black. And I'm using RGB. If you're doing printing, you might want to use CMYK. And now I'm going to touch the outside of all the yellow parts. And there we have it. I don't really like the way that looks in the middle. So what I would maybe do is take away that little white spot. Let's hit delete, hit delete. I should be able to grab that little line right there. Well, that in essence did it. So let's just hit that delete, hit that delete. So now you can take your smart fill tool and I just suggest just filling those in with black and also on the A to give it some contrast. Let's uh, move this out of the way and let's select our name. Let's go ahead and group it together. And then if you look at it on my graphic, whoop, on my graphic here, it'll show up, that white will show up quite substantially. And and maybe I, I messed up on the A, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, we still have it, so that's what's so nice about it. If you don't delete, we could have gone ahead and not filled that in and just filled that in with black and then fill the exterior black. I think it's gonna look a lot better. So I'm doing just the opposite of what I said earlier. We can take our yellow box and bring it up so we can see the white fill in, because if you don't, you can't see the white on a white background, and then just fill in all the white. So yeah, that looks a lot better that way. And then just, let's take this and delete it, and just move this up. And this would work for laser engraving with the exception that you wouldn't want to fill in the white. The, uh, the outline would be the color of the wood much like the background is in this picture. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.